Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, let's uh, see where this leads. Hello. <laughs> we'll leave there. Right, let's head this way first. What's in here? Oh, cool. It's locked, I'm guessing this is locked too. <laughs> Prepare to become one. There! Sweet. Where do we got? Five gold and potion of clarity. Cure moderate wounds. Better not be locked. Sweet. Ooh, journal of. Oh, I guess we're in Melden Inn's estate. I guess I could have figured that much because it was Millie's house, but. This book is full of tightly scripted dates and notes, a journal kept by the wizard Melden, and most entries are short and to the point regarding the, his various magical experience and some of the creatures he has paid to exa have, exa have smuggled into the city for his examination. Most recently, however, his entries become much more interesting. The gods have smiled on my destiny. I had heard a little about the creatures being brought to the city from Waterdeep, but thought little of my chances of even laying, up, uh, laying eyes upon them. Lo and behold, however, I discovered a dryad from that very shipment wandering the streets of the district, lost and frightened after the battle in the academy. It was glad enough to accompany, in, accompany me, and I have caged it for the moment until I decide what to do with it. Excerpt the following day. I have decided to experiment upon this dryad and find a cure for this plague on my own. Think of all the gold the panicked nobles of this city would offer for a cure. It is too bad that the dryad must be sacrificed, however. She is comely, if inhuman. Several days later, I cannot get the dryad out of my head. I th thoughts of her are with me always. Today, I attempted to draw blood from her to, to fuel my experiment, and found I could not even hurt even that hurt her even that much. Has she enchanted me, or am I simply lonely for such beauty? I cannot think cl clearly. Still, she recoils from my touch. I must win her love. I must. I will not release her from the cage until she feels I d as I do. Okay, that's not really a good way to get somebody to you know appreciate you by keeping them caged, but already. <laughs> So, yeah, the Dryad. So that definitely sounds like it's one of the water deviant creatures. Hello, stink beetles. Aw, oh, almost. Come on. Woohoo! Damn it. Sweet. Oh. Moderate moons, spirits. There's a bag right there. Gold piece. Let's get plus three. A couple of boxes. Gem. Let's get plus one. And there we go. Anything else? No. Alright. Let's continue on. What's in here? Eek. Eek. <laughs> oh crap, poison. Yeah, let's put okay, maybe I do need the uh <laughs> lesser amulet of health. <laughs> Alright, so let's put it back on. We never run into another one of those again. Uh, push enough antidotes. Some new uh, copper necklace. Moderate wounds. And ten gold. Okay, I'm afraid I'm gonna start getting into traps. Hello. <laughs> Prepare to ah! <laughs> Sweet. Alright, you know, I'll grab the bellies when I come out. Fox's cunning. You can actually use that to virtually guarantee you uh, a favorable uh, uh, response from pretty much any merchant. Like when you first see them. Ah, uh, it's done! Endurance. That uh, increases your constitution, so. Yeah, 
that will actually come in handy, I think, in the next district. I don't know if it really does, you know, anything, but... The thing I'm thinking of is you need a constitution of 19 to be able to win, win a competition with somebody. But I'm not sure if it actually gives you anything other than his respect. <laughs> oh, oh, Grommin. Who's Grommin? <laughs> you, Master Sahino, won't be disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who exactly is your master? Oh, no. Oh, my name's Kel. Who are you? Me, Grumman. Grumman work as guard for master. Keep out bad people. Let in master's friends only. Easy job. Never see master. Who are you? Uh, I would be one of the master's friends. I'm here to see him. Oh, okay. Grumman, open door for you. You go see him. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Especially when he's a num num nuts. Alright. I am out here because there's a couple of chests over here. Okay, okay. Can I bash this one open? My weapon will not serve here. Well, I'll keep trying until he unlocks that one. My weapon will not serve here. All right. Leather armor. Uh, ooh, nice summon creature four. Holy crap! <laughs> I almost wish I was able to do that. And they, that's the front gate to the place. So let's head back in. Didn't work. Alrighty. Let's see where this leads. Ick. Yeah, these guys uh, have acid breath. Luckily, they don't, uh, you know, excrete anything when you kill them, though. Uh, Phenolo. Uh, pieces and. Spell, awesome. Bah. Nope, I hear something. Yep. Your end. Ah. <laughs> Wrong button. Nine. Guard dog. Oh, geez, that's a big guard dog. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Deep. Guards. What? <laughs> Sweet. Uh, four gold. Twelve arrow uh, bolts. Uh, some bullets. And no more remains. Alright, let's keep going. What's in here? Well, oh. I don't think it's. What's in here? Melding and prison key. Oh, cool. What's in here? Oh, that's a crate. Uh oh. oh dire badger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, we got six gold. I don't think the. Badger drops anything, so oh, hang on. I saw somebody in there. Who is it? Hey, it's Samuel. That's Pleased to see you. You you aren't one of the wizard servants, are you? Is this another of his tricks? Uh, I'm certainly no servant of the wizard, no. That's a relief. My name is Samuel, an inspector for the city guard. I was beginning to think no one would ever free me. How do I know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, appreciate some information first. Uh, of course, I'll tell you what I know, though it probably isn't much. Uh, just how did you end up being a prisoner here? I was just poking around the estate, actually looking into some rumors I'd heard of Meldon and acting even more strangely than usual. I didn't find anything, but it appears I was correct. Meldon and captured, captured me and ranted on about how I was trying to steal something from him. <laughs> I have no idea what he was talking about, but he seemed convinced that it was up to no good and wouldn't let me go. Why would he keep you a prisoner? A member of the city guard. I don't know, Meldon it wouldn't ordinarily do this. Thing lots of other things, perhaps, but not take a guard again take a guard hostage. I didn't don't know what he's up to. Uh, what do you know about this place? Uh, I don't remember much. The West Wing here seems to be used mainly for Meldon and his experiments and storage. I think he lives below. Uh do you know where Meldon could be found? Uh, I think the the way to the lower floor is at the end of the hall through a door room on the right. That's where Meldon went at any rate. Alright, well, do you be able to find your way out on your own? Yes, yes, I believe we could 
could. I'd try to at least. Alrighty, then they go. The way behind me is clear. Sweet. And there we go. To 100 experience for uh, that, and yeah, follow up with Thurin and get our 300 gold. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of goblins in there. Right, let's take those out and then call it quits. Here comes Halfling Death! <laughs> Single-handedly. Alright, so that's all the time I have for this video, so in the next video I guess I'll, I'll head out of the prison here and I'll meet you out in the hall. And we'll continue from there. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one.